Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to share with you how I made this card with love, just in time for Valentine's Day. And as you can see, we've got these two cute, adorable rabbits in the field with the lavender and the tree branches hanging over them and they're looking into each other's eyes with the love hearts coming up above them. For the background, I'm just going to be using a couple of ink tense pencils just to do my ground and my sky and then blend it with some water. For stamping with, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Acorn, Fantasia, Pinecone, morning mist and for the love hearts I'm going to be using elements paprika. I'm also going to be using an ivy and a light pink Posca pen just to do some little dots around the bottom. I'm also going to be using some Dilution white linen ink spray just to do the highlights on those two rabbits. A red glitter pen just to add some sparkle to the love hearts and I'm also going to be using a micron pen just to do some faux stitching around the edge of the card. For the stamps I'm going to be using Tree of Courage, Tree of Hope, Lavender, the groups of hearts, Lola and Laurie. So, let's get started. I'm going to use this heart to do with my inking and stamping with. So I'm going to start off by using my ink tense pencils and I'm going to use a field green one. So just quickly, I'm just going to gently add some colour to the bottom of the heart. So just gently and lightly I'm adding a bit of green to it. And then I'm going to use leaf green just at this point of the heart just to make it a little bit darker. So I'm just quickly adding some colour. And then I'm going to add a bit of blue just to the top of the heart. So I'm just quickly and gently adding a bit of blue to it. And I'm just going to come down, possibly about halfway down, just with that blue. Just to bring that colour down. And then with my brush, I'm now just going to add some colour to the card. So I'm just taking off the excess and then in the swirling motion, I'm just adding water to activate this colour on the card. So I just keep taking the excess off and then just I'm just doing it quickly. I'm not after a smooth type of blend, I want it to be quite brush like. So I'm just doing this all in a circular motion, just building this up. And then again on the other side, just in a little circular motion, just to get all of that colour blended just swirling that uh, around. We're just quickly adding some colour to the card. So just keep swirling that around and just blending this all in together. 
And then I'm going to give it a dry with the heat gun. I've stamped Laurie and now I'm going to stamp Lola. So I'm just going to position her into place. And I'm using VersaFine Claire Acorn. So I'm just going to use my stamping platform just to pick her up and then ink her up. So I'm just going to give her a good ink up and then stamp her. And there we have our two little characters looking into each other's eyes. I'm just going to do a bit of grounding around them both. So I'm just going to use Willow and I'm just going to gently just put a shadow around them. Just gently adding a bit of brown to it. And then with my brush and a bit of water, taking off the excess, I'm just going to gently blend this around. Now I've done my bit of blending, I'm now going to use the Tree of Courage just for up here and also the Tree of Hope. So I'm just going to pick that up and then I'm going to stamp it in. I'm going to be using pine cone to stamp with so I'm just going to ink the top of the tree and then stamp it. Just move that across and then I'm going to use the Tree of Hope over this side. And again, just picking it up and using the same colour pine cone to stamp with. So I'm just going to ink the top of the tree up and then stamp. And there we have our tree branches hanging over them. And I'm just going to go back using willow. And I'm just now going to colour in the tree branches. So we're just going to follow this around, just colouring in the tree branches. Just follow it around and just colouring it in. And then again with my brush taking off the excess and we're just going to blend this all in. So just take your time just colouring in these branches. go to the other side and just colour that branch in. Just taking your time. I'm going to use lavender with Versifying Claire Fantasia. 
So I'm just going to ink that up and then I'm just going to stamp this into place. Just giving time for the ink to absorb into the card. And then I'm just going to build up around the bottom. So again, I'm just going to stamp, let the ink absorb into the card. And then I'll do another one just here. Just taking your time stamping. And then I'm going to do some in second generation. So I'm just going to stamp onto some copier paper and then just stamp. And then again, stamp onto some copier paper and then just stamp at the bottom, just building the scene up. Just stamp and then we'll just position those. So we're just building the scene up. Just taking your time. And then I'm just going to go one, two, three. Just have some lighter ones at the edge here. So one, two, three. And I think we'll go for another one just there. Just so that they're sat in a field with some lavender. I'm going to use this little foliage that comes with the Tree of Courage. And I'm going to stamp that in Versa Van Clare Morning Mist. So I'm just going to stamp this up, ink it up, and stamp it. And now I'm just going to have this coming down. So I'm just going to line this up. So ink it up. And then just stamp where you like these little foliage to go. And don't forget to do some in second generation. So I'm just building the scene up. Just stamping these. Just taking time stamping. We're just going to stamp some more up. Oops. Do some more in some second generation. Just keeping that lined up. And then I'm just going to stamp a few more. Now some of these longer ones I'm just going to go over just to make them a little bit longer. And now I'm just going to use this little tree branch from the Tree of Hope and I'm going to use Versa Pine Claire Pinecone. So I'm going to stamp this 
then I'm going to do a second generation so ink it off and I'm just going to create some more branches around the card so just dump off and just build this up just taking our time building it all up so I think we'll have just a few more just taking your time I'm going to use this cluster of hearts just to go here in between them and I'm going to be using elements paprika to stamp with so I'm just going to take my ink pad to my hearts and just gently tap onto the hearts just gently building that colour up and then I'm just going to stamp this in place and there we have our hearts just going to use some dilution ink spray white linen so I'm just going to spritz onto this lid and then with my brush picking up this ink taking off the excess and then just gently we just need a bit of cloth and then just gently doing a bit of highlight around the rabbits and just doing a bit on his ear And just gently give him some highlights up here and a bit on his on our head so we're just building that highlight up and then again a bit of highlight and then a bit for the tail And then a bit of highlighting just around just taking a time really blend this all around You can always go, if you put too much white on, you can always go back to a pencil and just gently push this white back. So I'm just using my pencil just to push some of this colour back. And then I'm just going to do the ears gently and you can always add a bit more darkness to them like I'll put that back where it would be darker than the sides and I'm just going to use a bit of water taking off the excess and then I'm just going to gently blend this around so just quickly blending this around in a swirly motion
So I'm just going to use a quickie glue pen. I'm just going to get my pen started. And then now I'm just going to go with some dots coming down this foliage. So just take your time doing some little dots as you come down this foliage. So we're just going to build this up using our quickie glue pen just doing some dots just coming down this foliage on the trees so just do plenty of dots and you can even carry on down from your foliage so we just do these dots coming down and then I'm just going to use my heat gun just to get this to dry quickly And then we're just going to place some foil over where we've used our quickie glue pen. And it was Tracy who showed me this in one of her videos. So I thought, oh, I'll have a go at doing that. So we're just rubbing this foil on just to create some sparkle. I'm just going to do this one that I've missed out. So again, just using the quickie glue pen and you can always go back to doing some more. And I think we'll do some just around here randomly. And again, just give that a quick go with the heat gun just to help to speed up the tackiness, the stickiness. And then we're just placing the foil over where we've used it. So giving it a good rub with the, over the foil and we can just build up. Just rub this over. There we have gone. Just going to do some dots with an ivy Posca pen just around where they are sat and then just do some around the lavender and then I'm going to use the light pink. So I'm just going to get my pen started and then just do some little dots around. So I have here my layers for my card. And as you can see with this one, I've just gone round the heart and around the edge of the square with a red Spectrum Noir pen. 
So we've got two layers glued and now we're going to stick down our final layer. So again, just gluing this up. So I'm just going around the edge and around the heart just with my glue. And now I'm just going to place this into position. So I'm just making sure that my edge is the same all around. So I'm just going to pick this up, slide it down a little bit more. Oops, now I've gone too far. So there. And there we have all of our layers. So now I'm just going to put a bit of glue around the aperture. So I'm just going to go around the edge and then I'm just going to use my finger just to smooth it all around. And then I'm just going to place this over my work. So we're just going to place it into position. And then we've got a little with love just to put it into place. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue onto the back and then I'm just going to place it at the bottom of the heart. I've got my card blank, all my layers are glued together and it's just now putting it all together now. So I'm just pressing this down nicely. Now that we've glued it onto our card blank and gone all the way around the edge doing a bit of faux stitching, the card is finished. Thank you for joining me today. Please take care and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.